Hello everybody and welcome back! In the previous episode we played through one of the most action-packed episodes in the game, but also one of the most annoying. This entire section, you could call it, uh, is really annoying, where basically two missions back-to-back -back are very frustrating. Uh, one of them being just because it's hunter spam and you're given just enough healing to where it feels pretty feasible. Uh, and then in this one that we're going to be doing now, uh, it is a boss fight that feels overly uh, annoying. But uh, in this video, we're obviously going to be playing this episode. But I also wanted to say uh, thank you to our super patrons, the Smazza, Bazza, and Brady Burns, as well as our regular Patreon of Ballywash. And secondarily, uh, B uh, Brady Burns, my super patron, also has a Twitch account called uh, Pink Daddy underscore. Please give him some support and love. Uh, it would just be amazing if we could get him a bit, you know, some more uh, things. I don't know how often he actually is going to do it, but at the end of the day, hey, even if it's just for a meme, I think we should do it. But let's get into the game, and they'll have it previously on Resident Evil, most likely, so then you're up to date to everything. Oh no, it just goes back into the game. Raymond. That's you. So it was actually Parker that fired first. BSAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. It's... You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there. Criminal scum. Nothing will change unless you get your hands dirty. I just love how edgy he is. It's amazing. There should be an insta death, super mega so ultra death FBC being. On this ship too. Yeah, What's there going is. on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. It's Not annoying that no matter what you do, you can't actually damage him uh, in his form, quote unquote. However, we can research him again. Oh, that's under this area. Yeah, it did count us already grabbing that. Ah, so that's one of the handprints. We'll try to get as many as we can feasibly grab. Okay. We're just up here spinning around like an idiot and then Parker's down there just like how long is Jill gonna take? Why is Jill taking time? I don't understand. Feels like that's in the next room. Are you fucking kidding me? I really don't like these enemies. I don't feel like they're well designed. Whoa, Ayo, 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 calm down. Chill, chill, chill. Yet again as well, it feels like at least with these enemies as well, uh, they're not putting up much of a fight. I feel like there's a sort of a fire emblem effect happening here where, um,. Although, ordinarily, it would be way more difficult, um, they're kind of making it easier in certain, like, they're, like, lowering, like, it's, like, adaptive AI health, shit like that. Uh, because there's no way that, you know, we can, like, four-shot an enemy super easily, um, and then, you know, at this point as well, have so much issue with some other enemies. We have no other grenades. I really don't like those things. I don't like any insta-kill enemy, unless it's fair in the reason why they insta-killed you. Like, if it's something like, oh, well, you only got insta-killed because you played poorly, then fair enough. Oh god, please help me! This can't be happening! Don't leave me to die in this hell! I'm trapped here! There are monsters here. Real ones. Everyone's dead or dying. There are no survivors. Shit, we're going to die. 
Yeah, fair enough. Legendary parts and more machine gun ammo. This is what we need to activate and get the shotgun. So if you didn't already get the shotgun at this point, then you're screwed. Um, so big, so Paraguas flagship, which sounds like Las Plagas to me. Uh, so it basically is kind of like, uh, uh, it's basically like, uh, the Titanic. Essentially there's three of them, uh, all being owed to a queen. Here are some maggots and some gross stuff. Ew. Um, there's not actually anything on him. I think in some difficulties there might actually Hold be something on, on him. There's a map of the ship here. Oh, okay. Forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, I would have completely glossed over it. It would have been the first time in a survival horror game in which I uh, completely did that. Um, let's have a look-see here. So we have one custom part, one legendary part. We have three out of five green herbs. We now have more bullet uh, capacity. Uh, we have five of those. Hmm. We should go to the emergency communication room. Maybe try to contact HQ. Hmm. I think we go back up here after a few chapters, maybe. All right. We got to find Rain. Find him on. I used to work with him. Why does it Naruto run? <laughs> However, thankfully, the moment you leave an area, they can't actually attack you. We can just skip that enemy as well. We'll also be dealing with another boss soon as well after this one. <sighs> okay, we want to go to, I think, the lower cabins, actually. Yeah. It's feel it feels weird going from uh, one moment to the other. Yeah, there's nothing here. Except for more handgun ammo. More healing, bless the Lord. I think the weapon area over here is f way further. Well, actually, it's down in this area anyway. There we go. Two more items. I think that's because uh, they despawn. Oh, there it is. So we can see what this legendary part is. As well as this regular part. So damage 2, that would be the regular one, and long magazine 5. Who oh boy. So as you can see with this one, it essentially has a lot more slots, um, but less damage. And I feel like if I were to take one of them, the Samurai Edge is better. So I think at this point, I will take... that off. Um, and although it doesn't have as many slots, I'll still just do this. Twenty bullets! That feels good to me. Um, and then four now. We should just do that anyway.
Um, but now we now have basically as soon as this one is finished, we'll have we won't even use the five bullet uh, spam as much even. Um, Four deck. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know exactly which room it is, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of tinkering. It's like a weird breathing. I swear there was... Huh. I guess we missed something. Oh, it's a machine gun ammo from last time. Yeah, so I guess they despawn all of the shiny things that you found. Makes sense, but also kind of annoying. Yeah, okay. Yep. Oh boy! It might be this mission that I was thinking of. That's the anchor key, not the helm key. Okay. I do like the idea of them switching up the enemies a lot more though. I also like the idea of us having this... Falcon! Click! And uh, nothing. I can only dead. Okay. Hey, there's actually something here. More rifle ammo, okay. Yet again, we just can't do anything to that guy. Final one is down the hall enough to me to feel a monicum of safety. Inserted crest. The wind ham. Okay, we have an actual weapon now. And we can scan you. Ironic.
a heal. Even though it's very much so not as worth it. Jesus, you just backflip. Falcon Kid! I should be dead, you. Yes, it is. Awesome. Um, in clearing, these enemies stay. They're permanent enemies, essentially. Uh, this is for later when you get a key card, but I wanted to reveal it now because I can. Um. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of enemies that are permanent that if you take care of, you're essentially fine for a while. Yep, so this has the helm key on it. Yeah, and as you can see, more legendary parts, because obviously, and illegal. So illegal are good. Uh, they're like the better ones, and sometimes have way more unique shit in them. That fork looks terrible. What the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling around all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never seen monsters like this. Their movements are stiff, stilted, but it's all over. They get a hold of you. Those piece of shit monsters ate my friend Hassan. Bastards. I used my gun to frighten them off, giving me time to get the hell out of there. The bullet went straight through its arm, thank God. Those monsters have uh, bones like an old woman. There's nowhere left to run now. Damn, monster twisted my leg good. Hell, I've run out of ammo too. God knows if I'm only able to survive this. I kind of would have rathered him be able to take himself out. Like, I know that sounds morbid, but in a world where it's zombies, like, I feel like that's a fate better than death. Um, actually, I wonder if we can use that elevator. Um, if so, I wonder if, like, where we can go from it. Sadly, there is no saving in between missions. Hmm. That's very interesting, actually. Um, I think... Yeah, that means we're here, which means we can put our stuff away uh, and look at our parts. So damage for burst one. So burst one is actually a pretty fair one. Um, at this point, yet again, uh, we don't want to use any. We don't want to use this one in general anymore. Um, so basically, all of these pistols we're not using anymore. Um, we're just using this shotgun and the other one. Uh, so the question really is, well, we have another damage. Um, for this mission, sure. Okay. I think for now, I don't need that much. Uh, I think I want to add the firing rate to the um, shotgun though, just to uh, improve it. Because with the shotgun, as much as we can get is like good. Oh boy. It does feel really nice though when you're actually getting, uh, get going and stuff in this game. Um, so we need to get to there. So we can actually get through there, through the way that we're going. We essentially took the longest way around this mission, uh, which I find very funny. Uh, we also don't have to deal with any uh, enemies, at least we shouldn't. Uh, I'm just going to do this, just so then uh, we'd have to deal, I'd have to deal with, oh, but can we open it in my subconscious? Shouldn't be anything here for us. Yeah, there isn't. And this should just be opened with the helm key. And this is a loading zone. So hopefully we heal. The good thing is, is we have two full healing supplies. And we've done a lot already in this episode. 
man, this is going to be really uh, memorable to me. Like, this is going to be... Now this is what I call a cruise ship. It's like an opera house in here. So, where is this emergency communication room? Hmm. I want to explore as much as I possibly can. Legendary parts again. You can really feel like they're properly gearing you up for the next boss fight. I kind of wish that uh, it was just something like damage times a hundred million. The solarium is something we actually kind of need to go to. Um. Okay, we've had this area, had a look through, um, so now we're going to go down to this lower area here. We're basically going to look around this entire area, because yet again we don't miss a single thing. And thankfully there is a weapon box right here for us to use, so we don't have to backtrack. Brass Knuckle 1, I don't even know what that is. Ups physical attacks by 200%. Well, yeah sure, we'll go for that. That's actually really cool. Um, actually, if we can, we'll equip that to our shotgun. Because when we're battling the boss that's really tough, uh, you will most likely be using the shotgun, shooting him. I wish that uh, Burst 1 could be used with the shotgun, it would be so useful. Um, and then basically, bang, uh, we then do a physical attack. And if the physical attacks we do are way higher, then that's actually really good for us. Life Boy. Yeah. Someone posted a note here. Yes, I did. Let's read it. Oh my god, the comms officer. Good old trauma. This is the emergency of communication room. No one gets in without my permission and not without my key. If you want in, find me at my usual spot on the promenade deck. There is a message scored underneath. This is crap. The ship is crawling with freaks and monsters. I'm going to go to the promenade because at least I can find food there. Anyone who's still alive uh, can meet me there. Uh, oh, so it's still the same guy. Oh, you know where to find me. I'm not going to go out like that. I can promise you that. I hope I'm not the only survivor. Your friendly neighborhood comms officer. Deck is next to the hall. Let's go. So, this is, uh, basically you go to the solarium area and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, we're taking like the most irritatingly annoying <laughs> way. I'm so sorry, guys. You see Jill ass though, so I hope that makes it up. That makes up for it. Um, so many beautiful things to see. I remember just playing this in raid mode and such. Ah, here it is. I knew that there was one fingerprint in here. Casino. That happens like a lot later in the game, I believe. Okay. I thought it was on one of these elevator doors uh, where the handprint was, but apparently it's not. Hmm. Uh, I'll make a cut here if it doesn't work, but uh, I'm gonna go up and see if we can go into the solarium at this point because the solarium doesn't have too much um, but there is like a few actual genuine things there that are important uh, there's a few weapon there's probably from what I recall there's a few uh, weapony stuff as well which obviously would be very important in a run like this where we really do need every single thing we can get 
But man, double damage from uh, melee is kind of crazy. Yes, we can. I did think we could do this, but I just didn't know for sure. I think basically I'll try to do this area, and then in the next episode, uh, I'll do a two-parter, and then the next episode we'll do uh, trauma. I fucking hate those things. Ah, oh, there we go, there's something here. Hey, more handgun ammo, cannot complain. Are you fucking kidding me? I tried to press the X but uh, I tried to do the back dash version. I really don't like these enemies. I don't feel like they're that good of an inclusion. Um, at the end of the day, all they are are just a simple, hey look, there's an enemy that you can't, oh my god, we have to do all of this again. Now this is what I call a cruise ship. It's like an opera house in here. So, at least we know emergency communication everything that we can do here. I guess I'll just, like, the thing is though, it's like, I wish you could just drop saves in this game. Uh, cause although auto saves are good and they do help, uh, the ability to save and just have that be a part of the rank, like the less you save the better. Uh, that's just such a really useful uh, thing because it just means that people like me who want to save often uh, Because yet again, we're probably you know gonna make a bunch of mistakes uh, It just really helps and like if what if in the solarium there's like a really good thing Because um, if there is then I definitely want it but at the end of the day, oh, I can't get it because X, Y, Z. Like, it feels really annoying. That's not where the promenade deck is. The promenade deck, I think, is in... No, it is. Oh, I guess it's telling us to... I don't know, actually. The promenade deck is next to the hall. Let's go. We should be able to find the key we need. Okay. Ah, huh, the promenade is literally just in here, okay. I think we'll go in here, we'll see, I think there'll, there'll be general enemies just straight up in there. Um, and I think after that I'll just try, like after we hit a save where we've done a bit good. And you can already start hearing him. Uh, so that is the comms officer, um, and he's a total pain in this game. Um, the promenade deck uh, is very well designed for a boss fight, but very badly designed for fun. Strafing. Are you kidding me? Why are the gu these guys more deadly than the actual bosses of the game? I don't understand. And why did they just want to put them everywhere? I understand, like, maybe in some this really hard like areas, He's putting them around. But to the point of so, this, where it's literally like, oh, you're just progressing normally and you're not even going for special items or anything? No, nah, here, I have like 50 of them. That's too much. And this is already a very hard level anyway. 
it just like there's points where you go too far and I feel like this is one of them where there really isn't any point to making this level harder I understand putting one in here because you know in the solarium it's kind of like this extra area for now um, and if you clear it now you know it really helps you because you get like I think maybe even the sniper so you get a really good reward but at the same time it isn't the most necessary thing and this is going to be a bit of a longer episode because yet again I do want to actually get through a bit of it um, okay. You know the enemies that you haven't even been, you haven't known about and literally have only been in this mode? Uh, yeah, they're gonna chase you down and you don't even get the ability to have fun. Awesome. I'm presuming you need to dodge and then once you dodge their attack, you can then attack them back this and then hopefully on their game. weak spot which is obviously so, the little flab that they have they take like near lethal damage or something but this really just feels like one of those things where it's like let's just make it overly hard just because it's the hard mode and I feel like that's yet again the worst way to do difficulty the best way to do difficulty is just make it harder by limiting resources uh, so then people actually really need to think, not just spamming so many enemies that it in like, you know, in like it artificially in, in uh, you know, inflates the amount of ammo that you have. Because for a lot of people, um, if they, if they can just dodge, it doesn't do anything. It's very interesting that it knocked us out there. Because as you can see, we then were able to actually utilize, uh, that. Can you just have an ability to quick restart the area? I don't understand why I have to every single time try to do this one thing, have to do this huge song and dance about it. I don't understand why that's a needed game. And like obviously they want us to kill them. But they're not willing to teach us how to kill them because obviously, as I said, they're not even part of the base game. Because I don't think they were even in the 3DS version. They were just added into this version because they were like, well we want to have some reason yet again for people to really play this game. Um, and the reason should just be that it's an incredibly great game now on you know modern consoles with uh, way better graphics. That should be reason enough to play the game. You don't need to have stupid gimmicks. Are you actually ki sitting me? Kidding me? They're like that easy to kill? It's just all intimidation, nothing else. Wow. I'm actually kind of annoyed. I thought that there would be some like enemy where you have to dodge. Because uh, obviously dodging, uh, they've s shown us that dodging is obviously very important in this game.
Okay. None of these puzzles are too hard. Hey, another handprint. Apparently we're at seven of these. And here it is. Basically the Pellington, if you've ever played uh, Cold War. Um, but we also, because we're on harder mode, get a legendary parts as well. So we activate the purifying pool, uh, and essentially what that means is that in a bit, uh, they'll be fine. Um... So essentially there they're talking about that ma those massive barnacles outside. Filtration's gonna take a while. Come back later. Well, thank God we don't have to deal for that or with that for now. And the next time we will deal with it, it will be in another chapter. So it might not even be there anymore. But yet again, um, we need to make sure that we don't die. Angry, angry sound. It'd be really cool if we got charge. That'd be a really cool uh, skill to give us very early on. Uh, and if we did, I would be putting it on the sniper. And I'd be giving the damage buff to the sniper too. But okay, we actually did a big thing um, here. The annoying thing is, is because we're not auto-saving, there's no point in... Like, this may as well just be a longer episode, because if we just die, I have to do it again anyway. So, it just has that idea of nihilism. Oh hey, there's just a custom parts piece here. That's awesome. I don't think they're permanently saved to your file or anything. Hmm. Maybe they are. That would be nice the only nice thing this game has done. It's so annoying though that those enemies aren't even that bad apparently. So fire rate, which was one of the common ones, charge shot 4 and long magazine 1. So charge shot 4 is uh, definitely meant to be for a weapon. It only can be used with the magnum. Are you serious? That is actually so irritating. 69. Um. Um. We already have a fire rate one, so we don't need that. So long magazine, just uh, give us a little bit more. Um, and at this point. The sniper has the most. Actually, so yeah, the sniper has the most. And then it is essentially like this. Yeah, okay. So that's how we're going to be doing things. And then here we have damage times three. So we have a really big F off damage weapon. It also it is also kind of annoying that you can't unload ammo from other weapons. Uh, Cause if we could, we could actually have a bit of ammo. Um, so we'll load up that one extra bullet. Uh, sniper rifles work exactly the way you think they do um, in any other FPS. Um, so now we're actually uh, getting there. So from here, 
I hope you uh, actually will go to the loading zone because now that we know that we can kill those insta kill enemies really easily uh, there's actually a few things we can do with that information and then once we actually From fully the get there the hall, I think the then hall. we will pick it up find a key. or maybe you know, we'll just do it here so, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. The next episode, obviously, will be continuing off from here. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a lovely day.